can't really move my arms otherwise that happens so um, I feel like I should put on some dark lipstick hold up okay I got a lip color and also I talked on the phone for like 40 minutes so I think my makeup wore off a little um I'm gonna just um, fix that really quickly okay let me just like play a song really quickly <laughs> I got the fall nail color-ish, vibe-ish, fall, yep. We got the leaves with the twinkly lights. Also, I have a lit fall candle over there. One thing that I absolutely love about fall are the candles, so really happy about that right there. And I am here coming at you with a fall room decor video. The only time I ever do these types of videos is in the fall and occasionally winter if I'm really feeling Christmassy because fall room decor just makes me so happy and I like to make videos that make me happy. So here I am. <laughs> also, I'm already really pale, so I love that. So anyway, that is my little fall spiel. Before I get into this video, I just wanted to remind you that there is a subscribe button right down there. Um, if you want to click it, like, totally feel free. I post videos every single Friday. One last thing, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because fall, okay? Fall. I'm gonna start with just the regular fall decorations that I like to put in my room and then we'll get into the DIYs. I guess this is actually a DIY, but I made this like two years ago. All I did was found this like cardboard skull at Michael's and I just painted it silver and I really like how it looks. So I have two of these. I just kind of set them around where I feel needs a little more spookiness. Oh, so spooky. Too spooky. Just kidding, there's no such thing as getting too spooky, my friends. Also, pretty sure this is my mom's. Um, we got a snow globe. It says 2004 on it because I love 2004. I'm just kidding. I'm... But it's also adorable. It has a cat and three jack o' lanterns. And there's flying bats everywhere. Um, so how could you not want this in your room? It's really cute. So I always put this in my room. I filmed a fall room decor video, not last year, but the year before that, I'm pretty sure. I'll link it in the description box. But in that video, I got all of these things from the dollar section at Target, but we got a sparkly pumpkin, which is so freaking adorable. This would actually be a really, really easy DIY if you just found a styrofoam or cardboard or wooden, you know, just pick whatever material you want. Pumpkin from Michaels, put Mod Podge all over it and then put glitter on it. Boom! You got yourself a sparkly pumpkin. Who doesn't want a sparkly pumpkin? I'm sure all you guys do. This fake candle, you know, makes me feel spooky. I'm into it. Last thing I'm reusing from a couple years ago is this beautiful leaf bowl plate thing. I love to put candy corn in this. It's very folly. I'm gonna make that a word. It's folly, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that in this video. It's a good one. It's a good egg, but it's a leaf. So if you don't do anything else for fall to decorate your room, put some fall candles in your room. You won't regret it. You won't. And then a couple of the things I picked up this year. Of course, I got candy corn so I can fill some jars with it. Even if you don't like candy corn, like I'm not a huge fan, but it's cute and it's fall and it's just, you want to get into that fall spirit. You can't not have candy corn. This year, I also got this really cute pumpkin plate. Oh my gosh. By the way, this is all from Michaels, unless I said it was from Target, because obviously. Is it supposed to have that? Michaels is doing me dirty, honestly. What? Not okay. Not okay. I'm just kidding. It's just a pumpkin plate. I'm fine. This matches my nails like perfectly. By the way, if you're wondering what's on my nails, it's called Penny Talk by Essie. I got this pumpkin plate. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's a beautiful fall decor item. Oh my gosh. These are like my favorite things I got this year. I went to Michael's and they had a whole section of fall plants. So I got these two. Um, I got this bouquet of, I don't even know what flower this is mimicking, but it's so, so cute to me. And I just put it in this little jar that I had. Also, 
I got this cute little bouquet. I love this one so much too. Why does this make me so happy? <laughs> and I just put it in this little dairy jar. And you just kind of set it down wherever you want. There's no wrong place to set this down. Also, here's a little DIY that takes probably two seconds. I found this stuff at Michael's. It's just like a bunch of pine cones mixed with like little other things that are fall related. It smells like cinnamon. Oh my gosh, this is so happy. You just take some of this, put it in a jar, and then put your fall themed flowers, and there you have it. So if your room has any green plants in it, I definitely recommend suggest suggesting me, me too. I definitely recommend switching that green plant out for an orange plant or maybe even a white plant or any of those fall colors. Just switch it out and your room will just be transformed. So those are some of my fall decor suggestions if you don't want to get crafty. But if you do want to get crafty, I have a couple DIYs for you. I'm not very crafty, so the DIYs that are in this video are very, very easy. First DIY is just a chalkboard. This is really, really simple. I found this at Michael's. It's just like a slab of wood and you also just need chalkboard paint. So just take your paint, paint all over the wood. And let it dry, of course. I guess this is kind of a faux chalkboard for me because I'm not going to be writing on it with real chalk. But if you want to, that's perfectly fine too. But I decided to just get this white oil-based Sharpie. It says it marks on wood and glass, so I'm going to be using it to mark on wood, obviously. Just write whatever screams fall to you or draw something. Draw like a pumpkin or leaves or a cat. I think this is a really, really cute DIY and it's so easy. My next DIY is also very, very simple. All you gotta do is go find a stick, you know, go to your local tree, go to your neighborhood tree or your school tree, but don't tell the teachers that you stole the, the stick off of the tree because that might be vandalism and I'm not encouraging that. Just find a stick and you're going to need some string and you're also going to need some leaves. These are fake leaves because I don't know how well it would work if you tried to use real leaves. And then line up your leaves on top of the string. I don't know, just kind of arrange them however you like. Either glue or tie them down. I decided to glue them down and you can hang that up wherever you want in your room. If you have lots of space on your walls that need to be filled. I think this is a really, really good DIY for that. Your room is ready for the season. I love this DIY. My last DIY is very, very simple, but it was inspired by Brandy Melville, but I love this for fall. I found all of these dairy jars, and then I went and found wheat. My wheat was real, actually. I went on a serious hunt for that wheat. I am trying to find wheat right now. Um, it's not wheat season, I don't think, because I can't find wheat anywhere but I did find some plants I'm just gonna go pick some random plants I guess the things I do for YouTube oh my gosh let's go get some plants I'm is this illegal what is this that's not wheat but it kind of looks like it um okay cool wow I'm so proud of myself I just picked all of this individually. That took too long. Coming back for you, Janet. Anyway, <laughs> just take some wheat and bundle it together and then tie it up with some string, put it into a jar, and that is literally it. You can make one or two or five or 20, you know? It's whatever you want. Those are all of my decor ideas. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And now you have all of these beautiful fall decorations that you can put wherever you want in your room and your room is just fall, falled out. Fallout boy. Anyway, that's my video. If you try out any of my DIYs, then please send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter, just at Summer McKean. Or if you decorated your room for fall and you just want to show me that, I would love to see it. So tweet me. Tweet me. Or Instagram me. I haven't talked about my necklace in a long time, but I'm still selling it. Here's what it looks like. You guys can click the link in the description box to get one if you're interested. If you haven't smiled yet today, I really hope this video made you smile. If you haven't subscribed already, you should definitely subscribe. Anyway, I love you so much, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye! Oh.